shop for a quick video. As you can see, I got my beanie on. It's a little cold, uh, mid-30s this morning. But I thought I'd come out and do a real quick uh, follow-up video to the uh, Fireball uh, Mantis clamp. Hmm, I got something hidden in my hand. I got another idea. Uh, let's move on with the video, and uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Well, the other day I showed a uh, video of clamps and how I replaced on the anvil uh, a pointed anvil for touching on small parts. Well, I couldn't leave that alone and uh, went on further. And so here you see I've adapted a piece of angle iron to the anvil side of the clamp. And now you can hold a round. And if I wanted to hold a round, and then weld this round to that piece of metal, I got great access. You can, you can uh, turn it whichever way you want. It could be up and down. So just another, uh, another method of madness with the, uh, whoop, I meant to release the vise, but just another simple hack, uh, which uh, turns this tool into a multi-use tool. And wait, I got another idea. <laughs> Hang on, this one's in development. Let me, uh, let me move the camera. Well, I've been playing with this idea and trying to think of the uses or functions of it. But here again is the uh, fireball clamp. And I've ran the bolt through the opposite direction and into a nut. Um, and what we have is a 12 inch bar there. And thinking that the 12 inch bar, you could use it for clamping a scenario like this. And now you're getting pressure all the way across the piece there. Uh, Possibly, I was also thinking of putting little feet underneath it. These little feet would have been welded onto it, onto the bar, where you would have point pressure further apart. So you'd have point pressure here, point pressure here, if you needed to get over a piece. Yeah, you could do it with two clamps. Um, just a possibility. But I got one other setup that I kind of looked at and uh, let me move the camera again and see if this has merit. I'm showing this because uh, a lot of smart people out there may come up with a different method of uh, my madness here. So uh, let, me, uh, let me move and it'll, it'll show you another possibility that this could be used for. So this is kind of just like a mock setup for thinking. Um, this is my pallet jack handle and unfortunately there's a gap right here on both sides but it's kind of an indication of hey if this was flush with that it's a pretty simple setup to go ahead and clamp and be holding the piece. Um, let me go handheld, see if it uh, helps, helps here at all in discussion, but just kind of a thought where you would have the ability to span it. And of course this bar could be, geez, it could be almost any length. Or I guess maybe you can even have two of these clamps, one here and one over here. Eh, lots of possibilities. Speaking of clamps, there's my collection of C-clamps. <laughs> um, I got one other, one other idea, and uh, then we'll call it quits. Now this one is really not my idea. Uh, it's something that diamide clamps offered with their smaller clamps that I showed you, but it would basically be your welding clamp, instead of clamping your welding clamp to this bracket, you could take one of these 
and make it a dedicated welding clamp. So you would bolt your welding lead onto the clamp and bolt it or and or put a fitting on it and solder it. I mean, numerous ways to, to attach it. And now you have an adjustable, adjustable clamp. This guy only opens up that far. Now you got a clamp that'll open up, you know, what, three, three and a half inches, um, which you could, you know, hook onto various places that you can't hook onto this. So just a, uh, just another hack kind of a thought idea. But that one definitely was uh, from uh, Diamite Clamp. Okay, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed my uh, thought process on doing different setups for the fireball tool. Uh, this anvil piece here, I think it's got a lot of uh, various possibilities. Um, again, even this could be bolted down to the, to the uh, welding table and have a fixture that's ready to just clamp on pieces. Lots of ideas. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed. As always, uh, hit the like button. Uh, you're welcome to share the video and uh, comments are always welcome. We'll see you again soon.